an oh dang. Oh, yo, let's go, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, hello, my name is Parker. Welcome back to once again to another Call of Duty Mobile video today. I hope everyone is doing well. And if we go and look at this special offer right here and go and click on it, it is called a code offer. It is a seven day to get two weapons benefiting C-O-D-E or code. So if we go into our little mailbox up here and go and click on that right here, we will go and see this thing that says honor veterans with the Call of Duty Endowment Honor Pack. So if we go and click on that, it says honor veterans with the Call of Duty Endowment Honor Pack. Pack. Support civilian careers for vets by purchasing the Honor Pack. The endowment's first ever mobile pack includes a striker shotgun and a grenade. Offer is available for seven days. And okay, this is really cool. 100% of the proceeds received by Activision will go directly to helping veterans in the UK and US find high quality civilian jobs. So here we go. Royal Force Frag Grenade. And then the, stri the striker royal force. So, dang, it's oh, it's a very interesting looking skin. I I don't know if I would say I'm the biggest fan of it, but what is that on the drum bag there? Is this supposed to be like a prop plane? Feel free to go and let me know in the comments down below what that could be. And also, there is a weapon perk associated with that gun as well that I wouldn't mind going and checking out here. So here we go, striker royal force. And then weapon kills increase movement speed for a while. Okay, there we go. All right, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be my first ever game going and using this new code weapon, the Striker. What is it called again? It's something Force. Uh, so this should be interesting. Let's try to maybe see if we could do a flawless free for all. Oh. Oh. Oh, dude. Okay. My accuracy. Oh, dang it. There we go. So yeah, after you go and kill someone, you can even see just your movement going so much faster there. So it is a good thing that I also have extended, or not extended, oh dang. You know, I don't know if I'm a big fan of that weapon perk, oh dang, it's gonna be right on the other side of there. I'm not gonna lie, this weapon perk seems a little bit pay to win. Maybe feel free to let me know in the comment section. Oh, shucks. Maybe let me know in the comment section down below if you guys feel like this weapon perk might be pay to win here. Because especially if you paired alongside the striker, which is a really up close and personal weapon. This doesn't seem like it would be a fair weapon perk to have. Because I've never, I've never even heard of this. Like I've heard of... Um, at the start of a game that you can go and increase your running speed But I've never had it in which at the end of each and every single kill that you go and get that you can go and uh, And unlock it here. Oh, there's gonna be a guy coming from over here. Oh Okay, Whew. nice nice cuz yeah, just the moment you go and find yourself in a gunfight You can just go and run back right away. It's not like you have to go and deal with the with a guy right away there too. Dude, imagine- oh, shucks. Nice. I might be able to go and drop a, uh, a nuke here. How insane would that be? I'm actually gonna try my best to go and not use any of my specialty streaks right now. Like, maybe just try to at least stick to my striker and only my sparrow class. Cause yeah, man, it's only just- Oh, enemy UAV. Oh, no. Yeah, as long as I can go and stick to just using the striker right now. And kind of stick to just going in. Almost spawn trapping them in a way here. Oh, nice. Okay, got my beetle. I don't know if I'll be able to go and activate. Oh, dang, I might not even finish first here. Okay, I have to go a little bit more ham. Yeah, guy's already at 16. Oh, no. Nice. Okay, maybe toss out this. Nice, let's do this. Oh, nice. Oh, stealth chopper. Oh, no, that is not good. Oh, no, I might die here. No, dude, I was so close. Okay, let's just call in the beetle. Let's just end this. Oh, uh, that would have been... Oh, no. Okay, here, I have to call in this to get rid of... If I can move my... Oh, nice, I destroyed it. Okay, 
and then calling this bad boy? Oh yeah. And then this should be pretty much a game here, ladies and gentlemen. I think I just need one more. And boom, maybe? Oh yeah, there we go. Dang, that was such a solid game. And oh, <laughs> guy right in front of me there, okay. So what was I? I was 17 and oh there. I only needed three more just for the tactical nuke. But yo, I'll take this game, man. Let's go, baby. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be playing on the map standoff here. And I just want to go and say this, that I was looking at the map selection. And I feel like the best map that complements shotguns has to be uh, has to be standoff here. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Okay, it's a good thing that the striker has 10 plus bullets here in the mag. Oh. Oh, nice. That guy got him. Oh, you know what? No, I can go all the way up to 16. I forgot that I had extended. Oh, gosh. Okay, that was the trip mine going in hot there. Guy taking B. Might go and push over here. Oh, that guy's just snacking around. Oh, nice. Yeah, man. I don't know if I'm a big fan of the... Oh, dang, because you can run so fast. Dang, that is actually insane. Okay, feel free to go and let me know in the comments down below. Do you guys believe that this whole, uh, that that whole weapon perk associated with the striker there, do you think it's pay to win? I don't know about you guys, but that feels very, very pay to win. I don't know if I'm a big fan of that because, yeah, don't get me wrong. It's not on any super insane gun out there. Like, it's not on... I don't know, like the AK-117 or the PDW. Because, like, then it would probably be a little bit too crazy. But, like, look at this, dude. You can just run so fast. You can get into certain advantage points. Like, I feel like even having this and... Oh, dang. Oh! Yo, let's go, baby! Oh, my God, that was insane. Okay, gonna be a guy pushing up from over here. Yeah, dude, because, oh my god, another Beetle. It's just, I feel like, for example, playing a mode like Domination, it would have to get a little bit pay to win, right? Because when it comes to Domination, it's all about being... Oh, no, Fish, why did you have to go and do me like that? And, dude, that was probably the worst shotgun that he went and killed me with there as well. But, yeah, for, like, a game mode like Domination... This type of gun is perfect because if you're planning on just continuously going on flags or just like even in capture the flag when that game mode eventually comes to this game, I can even see the striker being useful there. So I don't know, man, if I'm a big fan of having this in the game here. Maybe it's just my boomer mentality acting up, but yeah, I, I don't think that should be a thing. Like Call of Duty Mobile should not be going down any type of pay to win route i feel like they should be perfectly fine with just having i don't know just skins normal skins <laughs> and they should be making their money that way and just not having it in this whole pay to win aspect to it okay oh no that whole railing got him okay let's use our nice little veto warship here back to back beetles don't mind if i do baby Oh, oh, a guy in that building, but enemies taking B. I don't think so. There's going to be another guy working his way in my building here. Dude, I cannot complain. Two back-to-back -back Beatles with the Striker here. And Strikers are even regarded as being some of the worst guns. Well, not Strikers, but just shotguns in general. So, being able to go and drop a, a Beetle Warship on back-to-back -back games here. All I can say to that, ladies and gentlemen, is let's go champ, let's go champ, and uh, let's go champ. Yo, I don't know if anyone saw the uh, KSI versus Logan Paul fight, <laughs> and I can't believe I'm talking about it in this video, but that was actually a solid fight. I was totally, I was totally invested into it. I know a lot of people, in terms of like the boxing community, were not a fan of that fight, but I actually, I actually kind of, oh, oh, I thought that was an enemy. And, oh, baby, let's go with that. Double. I was a big fan of that fight. And even going into it, I thought that Logan Paul was going to go and win. So you could say I was I was really blown away with just finding out that... Oh! I was actually really blown away that Logan Paul uh, did not end up winning there. Oh. Guy over here. Dang, we are triple capping these fools. Oh, they're about to take A here. 
And also, talking about just this map in general here as well, I wonder when this whole Halloween event is going to end. Because, don't get me wrong, like, it's awesome that we had this Halloween event in the first place, but at this point, isn't it, like, isn't Halloween almost over with? Like, it's almost <laughs> the middle of, of November here, and they still kind of have the whole Halloween theme going down but ladies and gentlemen that is going to go and conclude today's video thank you guys oh so very much for tuning in and watching i really do appreciate it if you guys are interested in going and watching me play some cod mobile live be sure to go and check out park of the slayer live there will be a link to that youtube channel down below in the description as well as in the pinned comment as well as if you guys want to watch funny moments in regards to cod mobile be sure to go and check out call of duty mobile clips but with that said ladies and gentlemen my name is parker Hopefully, you guys are having a wonderful and fabulous day because I certainly am. And I guess I will talk to you guys in the next video. Here are my kills, 35 kills. Adios, and have a good one.